Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. We just hit 60 subs. Thank you guys again so much for the support. And I hope again, as always, that I can continue to make more content you guys will enjoy in the future. Now, two Power 5 coaches got fired on Sunday, which is double of what we've been having the previous weeks in college football. We are now up to five fired Power 5 coaches. Carl Durrell at Colorado and Paul Christ at Wisconsin are gone. And to me, one of those is surprising and one is not. Carl Durrell at Colorado is not a shock. Again, he was the UCLA coach back in the 2000s at his alma mater. They were 35-27 and 24-18 and and in the Pac-10 at the time, and he got fired. And he, again, UCLA has high expectations, and they want to win. But he got the Colorado head coaching job in 2020 after several stints in the NFL. And Colorado, their expectations are probably not as high as UCLA because Colorado has not been good since they left the Big 12 for the Pac-12. And... Again, though, Colorado, he was not doing well. Outside of his first season during the virus in 2020, he went 4-2 and 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 3-1 in the Pac-12, and that was decent. It was like, hey, it's a good first season as head coach. But then in 2021, they went 4-8 and 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 3-6 in the Pac-12, and it's like, okay, he's going in the wrong direction, and you're not doing very good. And then it's the start 2022, he went 0-5 and and obviously 0-2 in the Pac-12, and nothing was looking good. There was no signs pointing that they were getting any better. And Colorado decides to fire him, and now his record at Colorado was 8-15 and 6-9 and in the Pac-12, and he's overall as a coach 43-42. and But now Colorado's going to have to get a new coach. They're going to have to put an interim coach in there. Again, it's going to be very tough to see who's going to want the Colorado job because Colorado is just a tough place to win at right now. You don't have the Texas pipeline anymore now that you're not in the Big 12 anymore, kind of like Nebraska. And you don't have a lot of California recruits wanting to go to Colorado because it's just kind of in that middle of nowhere zone. And they just don't have a lot of connection. And Colorado is definitely a tough job to win. So unfortunately for Carl Durrell, he's no longer the head coach of Colorado and he's going to have to find himself another job. But the shocking fire was Paul Christ. Wisconsin decided to fire... Paul Christ, a guy that was their quarterback in the 80s, he's you know at his alma mater. And at Pittsburgh, I, it was kind of shocking back when I was younger when Pitt, uh, he went to Wisconsin from Pittsburgh. They were 19 and 19 and 10 and 13 in the ACC and the Big East in his first season. And again, Pittsburgh was kind of in a little bit of turmoil anyway because you know after Dave Wanstatt, Pittsburgh kind of fell off a little bit. But Wisconsin decided to hire Paul Christ in 2015. And it started off well. Now, Wisconsin obviously was already good because you had uh, Brett Bielema before that and obviously the great Barry Alvarez. And Wisconsin was already doing well. So basically, Paul Chris just continued to do what the previous coaches had done and continued to succeed. In 2015, they went 10-3 and and 6-2 and in the Big Ten. And then in 2016, they went 11-3 and and 7-2 and in the Big Ten. And in 2017, they had the great 13-1 and season and 9-0 and in the Big Ten. Now, again, Wisconsin was never able to break through and make the playoff. And Wisconsin's in the Big Ten West where it's not as good as the Big Ten East, but Paul Chris was doing good. He was actually doing great, and they were winning a lot of games. They couldn't beat Ohio State, obviously, in the Big Ten Championship game, but they were doing really, really well. And then in 2018, they went 8-5 and five and 5-4 five and four in the Big Ten. That was kind of a step back. And then in 2019, they went 10-4 and 7-2 and and in the Big Ten. It was kind of going back in the right direction. 2020 during the virus, they went four and three and three and three in the Big Ten. They won their bowl game over Arizona State. It was again like, hey, Wisconsin not doing as well, but still we're doing good. The problem though with Wisconsin though is that their offense is old style, just like Iowa's is, and it works when you have an elite offensive line and it works when you have a great tailback. And Wisconsin still does, but unfortunately the quarterback play, starting with Graham Mertz lately, has just not been very good, and it's not Russell Wilson anymore like back in the day. And again, Wisconsin needs better quarterback play. And that might be why Paul Christ is gone, because Wisconsin and the administration sees that Wisconsin is not really trending in the right direction because they do not have a modern offense. In 2021, they went 9-4 and four and 6-3 and three in the Big Ten, which was kind of, again, a step in the right direction again. But to start this season in 2022, they were 2-3 and three and 0-2 and in the Big Ten and they decided to fire Paul Chris. Now, his record at Wisconsin was 67-26 and 26 and 43-18 and 18 in the Big Ten, which, again, most coaches do not get fired when you have that good of a record. And overall, he's 86-45 and 45 as a coach. 
Again, most coaches do not get fired with a 67 and 26 record, but again, maybe Wisconsin felt that Wisconsin was not moving in the right direction and that they wanted to continue to be at the top of the Big Ten West and even compete with Ohio State. But it is tough to get recruits to come to Wisconsin. That's why it's always been a feat what Barry Alvarez did because of the fact bringing in you know, three and below four star recruits and doing what Wisconsin has done historically is fantastic because again, you cannot get recruits to Wisconsin. It's very difficult. And the recruiting has improved and that might be another reason why they decided to get rid of Paul Chris because they do have better recruits than they had in the past. But they're not winning maybe as much as he was early in his tenure when they were ten and three, eleven and three and thirteen and one and lately they were going four and three, nine and four and two and three. So maybe that's why they fired him. But again, Paul Christ was a good coach. Maybe, again, he needed to modernize the offense a little bit more. Maybe the new coach will do that. Jim Leonard, defensive coordinator, is going to move into head coach. And, again, it's going to be very interesting to see what they do in the future. I think Jim Leonard will be a good uh, interim head coach because he was a good defensive coordinator for Wisconsin. It's going to be very interesting to see, again, what they do with their next head coach. But Wisconsin probably does need to modernize the offense. But, again, I'm very surprised to see Paul Chris get fired because I did not have him on my hot seat list of any kind. And I did have Carl Durrell because that's not shocking at all. But again, Carl Durrell, sad to see him get fired, but he was not doing good at Colorado. And Paul Christ, I did not see that happening, and he's going to have to get a new head coaching job, and it's very, or a potential head coaching job or a new coordinator job. And it's very shocking to see an alma mater guy like him get fired with a record that he had, but it is what it is. And Wisconsin wants to see greener pastures in the future, and hopefully they can get it. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Carl Durrell getting fired and Paul Chris getting fired at Wisconsin and Colorado respectively, and see what you think about that in the comment section down below. And I will see you next time.